All right, so we've got all the furniture centered, and because we have moved some of the furniture, there's quite a bit of dust and dirt uh, where the furniture used to sit, which we need to clean. And before we vacuum, we are going to light up this room with our handy dandy wall lights. These are just little, if you can see that, little socket wall lights that you can get at Home Depot and Lowe's, and we will uh, link to them online as well. They're just a few bucks, but any standard light bulb will screw into them. I think these are uh, 72 watts, and we like 100 watts, 75 watt, uh, or like 60 watt, nothing lower than that, because you really want to put a lot of harsh light on these walls. So we're going to light this place up, then we're going to vacuum. We're just using a standard shop vac with a bag in it. If you don't have a shop vac, you can use your standard uh, home vacuum just with like a hose attachment, um, and then run it over the carpet and the baseboard and all that good stuff. And lastly, we're going to tarp off this furniture just with some plastic sheeting. We will also tarp off the ceiling fan with some plastic sheeting as well. And for that, we'll show you guys uh, what we use in a second. But um, yeah, let's get cracking. All right, so we've got this place lit up, floor is vacuumed, trim's vacuumed. Now we are going to tarp off uh, all of the furniture that we have centered. And we're also going to tarp off the uh, top of the ceiling fan, just so we don't get any ceiling paint or anything on that. And what we're using to do that is painter's plastic uh, from Sherwin-Williams. And uh, they sell this stuff all over the place, but this is the kind that we like. And uh, what you will need is you will need some uh, plastic sheeting. You can also use drop cloths. Or, and I'll also be using a utility knife to uh, cut this stuff. Um, so those are the two things you're going to need, as well as uh, we're going to use some frog tape by, from SureTech. And that goes around. Uh, we'll use that to tape up the plastic sheeting that we're going to put around the ceiling light. So that is what we're doing. Ready to go. Um, all right, so I'm gonna cut this plastic and uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna use my utility knife and I like to pre-cut my sheets before I start spreading them out. I know I'm gonna need four uh, different sheets of plastic, so I'm gonna cut four pretty long ones. I tend to like to cut longer pieces than I need, that way I'm not worried about it uh, slipping or anything. So you want it to like hang a little bit more over than just the exact size of whatever you're covering. So uh, we need four sheets and here's what I do. So it tends to feed out of the top of the box. And then I like to roll the box over and then cut into the box. And that's one of our sheets. And here's two. So now you kind of just break this apart the same way you would like when you have to separate one of those plastic bags at the grocery store, or like a poop bag for your dog. All right, so we have everything tarped off. We've got the furniture tarped off, the ceiling fan tarped off, and now we are ready to sand the walls and the ceiling. Normally what we like to use is this 360 radius tool, uh, which is a big sanding disc on a, an extension pole. It's just a four foot Wooster extension pole. Um, and Josh will be using this as kind of his jam. Uh, but in case you do not have one of these, uh, you can also use regular sanding paper. And I will show you how we do that. Uh, we like using 3M 150 grit sandpaper. It's a good uh, grit. It's not too fine, but it's not too coarse and it'll get the walls nice and smooth. And uh, it comes in a box that looks like this. And then 
it comes in a full sheet and then we fold this in half and then fold it into thirds and I'll show you what that looks like right now. All right, so it comes in full sheets like this. We fold it in half, get a nice little crease in it and then fold it back, line up the edges, just like arts and crafts back in the day. All right, so once you crease it twice, it should fold pretty easily. Do it. A lot of times do it on the old pant leg. Keep it nice so you'll have two sheets, and then I'm gonna fold this into thirds. It doesn't have to be perfect, just give it a rough guess. You're not making it into a paper airplane, so it's fine. Boom, there you go. All right, so the reason we sand is because there might be leftover nap from who rolled it before us or little just bumps and grossness in the wall that we want to sand down. When you paint, you want your walls to be as smooth as possible. That's kind of the goal. Uh, so if I, rub, if I rub my hand over this, I can feel a lot of really rough spots from, um, like I said before, the little naps and there's little dried old paint and just some weirdness from whatever was left before. Uh, so that's why we want to knock that down as much as possible. Um, and we're gonna do that once over with the sandpaper and then when we get into spackling That's when we really start to cover what the bigger bumps are and things like that. So uh, Josh is gonna show you how he uses a sand disc, but just to do a regular sand with sandpaper uh, You know start from top to bottom and then I'm gonna go in circles But sometimes you'll see me go side to side. Sometimes I'll go in like tighter circles. It's just kind of covering your bases here You don't need to go crazy. You're not trying to sand off the whole wall. This is just a, a quick one pass, just so you don't get crazy with it. All right, so that's that's pretty quick, and you can also do this on the ceiling with this as well. Um, and then when we go to sand spackle, we're going to be using sandpaper, not the sanding disc. This is a good kind of warm up for that. All right, and that's sanding with the uh, 150 grit sandpaper. And now we'll show you how Josh does it with the sanding pole and why that is way faster. All right, I'm explaining the sanding disc and the sanding pole. First, attach. This is why I went to college, folks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is go in a pattern. We're trying to smooth out the little schneemly pecs in the walls. Yeah. And uh, we'll just pick a pattern and do it and just go crazy. Josh just went in a pattern all the way around the walls and now he's gonna do a similar pattern, probably just back and forth on the ceiling. Um, and that is where the sanding pole and the sand disc really uh, are super handy and it's way faster than hand sanding it. Amazing.